Okay, folks, welcome back. We're here at the range again. And once again, with the Freedom Arms Model 83 Field Grade 10 inch. And today we are playing with some silly, big, heavy 405 grain 45 Colt here. You can see the bullet coming down all the way in the case to here. And we're using a uh, charge of Ramshot Enforcer. I'm only gonna shoot five of each charge, just see if we can hit the plate or not. So we're up here at about 30, 35 yards or so. Got the little target down there. It's an eight inch steel gong, maybe 10 inch, I think it's eight. And we'll just be shooting offhand here from the tree. So let's see what we can do. That guy had some momentum to it. You could hear how it took just a second to get there, but it smacked him good. And I think it, you know, I was kind of holding at the bottom because that's where I've been having to hold with anything else I've been shooting out of this. So it's pretty close on that, but it was dead center, so that's pretty cool. Pretty close to whatever this is doing, right? Squeeze that one off early. I was trying to come up into the target, but didn't make it there. And a nice clean burn with our powder. You see that our case is fully obturated into the cylinder. So that means it sealed off the gases from leaking everywhere. And crappy lighting out here in the woods, but our cases are clean. You can see the brass color down at the bottom rather than a dirty black sooty color. Okay, so let's, uh, I've got five more to try of the higher charge, just a half grain up. Let's see how that does. I've not used Enforcer a whole lot, but it seems popular for like the Bushmaster, 300 Blackout, 350 Legend, that um, kind of range of the burn rate chart that those cases use, those kind of straight wall, you know, those kind of cases. You can see these are just dropping right in, so the cylinder's clean, they're burning clean, nice and hot load here. Let's uh, see if we can get more than two this time. That was pretty much the point of aim. Nice, five out of five, baby. This thing is hot though. Not something you're gonna wanna shoot a bunch of rounds of, but I bet it was very clean burning. Let's take a look here. Hope our brass didn't you know, split in half or anything silly. Yeah, these look nice and clean. I was about to say great, but I don't, haven't seen any uh, anything else like that. Let's take a look. So our primer's still very rounded, but just at the very first stage of flattening. So if you're going to be loading these, make sure you have a modern gun that's rated for like plus P or 454 Casul or 460 Smith & Wesson or something, because these are stinking hot. Or maybe if you're shooting them in a lever gun, that would be cool too. But uh, don't try these at home, folks. 
super clean brass once again. Those are, like you might not even have to tumble that stuff. Just go on and loop them up and resize them. Can't see inside, but again, super clean burning. Enforcer might just be a clean burning powder. It is very fast on the burn rate chart for this application with a slow, heavy bullet. So maybe that's giving it enough time to fully burn and be nice and clean like that. Let's go check out the target and see how hard those were actually hitting because some of these are leaving some indentions in my steel, man. Beautiful. I think those were my first two and then one, two, three, four, five. So very nice. I actually got them all on there. That was probably more of me actually holding better than the load being more accurate. But let's give that a Hmm. Yeah, these were moving slow, but they have some freaking kick behind them. I bet if you were in your using a carbine, uh, you like a lever action or something, this guy would freaking be smoking, folks. Anyways, this was just a quick one hanging out at the range, shooting some steel, testing some loads a little bit. Hope you guys are doing well, and thanks for joining me. We will see you in the next video. Have a good one.